that the sons of God lie at the heads of the streets. We don't know who we are, but God says, you're great. God says, you're great. God says, you're great, you're great, you're great, you're great. You're great, you're great, and you're great. This is because this is already within your spirit. that the sons of God lie at the heads of the streets. Why do, we, why do, we, why do you think they're at the heads of the streets? Can y'all young men help me out? The reason why I'm asking you guys is because this is already within your spirit. Y'all just gotta cut that light bulb back on. You guys are special people. So the Bible says our sons lie at the heads of the streets. What do our, what do our brothers and, and, and cousins do nowadays? What do they do? The they sleep in the house. What else? Some of them are in gangs. Some of them sell drugs. Some of them oppress our neighborhoods. They lie at the heads of the streets, selling drugs and doing things that God does not approve of. That's why it says they lie at the head of the streets. We're not supposed to be at the head of the streets. We're supposed to be at the head of the world. We're supposed to be ruling this world in righteousness. That's what we should be doing as men. They're not teaching you young men how to be men. Nowadays our kids, they cry easily. The mother is the only one in the house. A lot of you young men are just raised by your mothers. Why? Because the whole world is out of course. We don't know who we are. But God says, you're great. God says, you're great. God says, you're great, you're great, you're great, you're great. You're great, you're great, and you're great. Thus saith the Lord. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Let's see. The Bible says, prove all things. We're going to let God be true in every man. A liar. Thus saith the Lord. Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. Read. For thou art a holy people. Now, brothers, brothers, who all goes to church here? Raise your hand. What does it mean to be holy? Help me out, because you're great. So what does it mean to be holy? To pray? What about you? To learn about God, you're 100% correct. What about you? I sit him out. That's okay. I'm a pastor. You know what it is. What about you? To love God. Yes. What about you? To go to church. Okay. But we gotta figure out what that church is. What about you? To know about God. What about you? To be blessed. How do we become blessed? We gotta keep the commandments of God. What about you? To believe in God. To believe in God. And one more. What about you, family? To trust God. Our people, man, that's heavy. The brothers and sisters out here today, known as the Israelites, don't trust God. They trust in oppression. Read what you got. Come on. For thou are an holy people. God says you are holy, meaning what? To be separate. You are set apart. Come on. Undo the Lord thy God. Unto God Almighty. Come on. The Lord thy God have chosen thee. No, God chose all nations of people. Have chosen thee. God chose the so-called uh, Chinese man. Come on. To be a special people. He said God chose each and every one of you so-called so-called black men. Black is a crown and a pencil box. The word African-American came around during 1986 behind Jesse Jackson. What were you before then? Negro, color, coon, and spit. You won't find that in the Bible. But you'll find Judah. You'll find Benjamin. You'll find Levi. You'll find Naphtali. Those names you'll find out of the 18 nations in this Bible. That these wicked ass people, I'm sorry, as is in the Bible, but these Christian pastors lie and don't tell our people about. The solutions to fix our communities are in God's laws. The, the solutions to end Planned Parenthood is in God's laws. The solutions to end fatherless homes is in God's laws. There is no boyfriend and girlfriend, young man. I want y'all to understand that. God deals with marriage. Finish that out and give me Hebrews 13 and 4. Come on. Above all people. So wait a minute, there's a distinction. God says you guys are great above all people. Think about it. 
None of these other nations can see us in sports. They can't see us in education. They can't sing better than us. They damn sure can't dance better than us. And they damn sure can't cook better than us. It, hey, hey, it's a blessing. It baffles science today, you young men, that your foremothers and forefathers even survived this. That's right. You guys are special because you're God's chosen people. That's right. But we got to come back to who we truly are. Right. He was 13 real quick. We're going to come back to the young man. Come on. The book of Hebrews, chapter 13 and verse 4. Three. Marriage is honorable. You brothers hear that? God says the black Messiah, the so-called black, he is a dark-skinned man, says marriage is honorable. Right. What does that mean? There should be no boyfriend and girlfriend. That's right. You won't find dating in the Bible. You understand that? But you will find that if it's a sister that eventually that you prove, you are to marry that sister. Do you young men understand that? That will end the mother and the father, the baby daddy, the baby mama drama. That And all of that, if you apply what is written according to the Bible. Marry that sister. That is honorable in the sight of the Lord. Read on. Marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled, but whoremongers and adulterers. And those that commit adultery have kids upon kids, Please. but don't take care of their kids. Come on. God will judge. You men hear that? So I got to speak to y'all plain, brothers. You guys are the next generation of kings and prophets on this earth. Live your life according to what God says. There should be no whores according to the Bible. Of, the, of our sisters. We're not to make our sisters whores. Right. You marry your sister. Right. Do you understand that? Love the woman that God gave you. Do you, do you men understand that? All praise to the most high. So I got a question to you. What is the color of Christ? Who can help me? Can y'all help me? Black? What do you say? What color is Christ? He's white. Okay, what about you? What do you think? Same thing, white. So two, who thinks Christ is white? Raise your hands. Okay, who thinks Christ is black and looks just like you? Raise your hands. I only got one brother? All right, well, you can give me some skin on the back hand side. Ow! Let's see what the Bible says. Revelations, all right? We're going to read out of the Holy Bible what's been hidden from our forefathers and foremothers for over 400 years. Okay? Read. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his hair were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. So it says, the head, the hair on Christ's head were of woolly texture. Who today on the face of the planet has woolly textured hair? Does this image line up with what the Bible is saying? Or does this image line up with what the Bible is saying? This image lines up with what the Bible is saying, right? So read that again for the babies. Come on. His hair and his hair uh -huh. were white like wool. It said Christ's hair and the hair on the hair of the head, the hair on his hair, were white like wool. Oh, read right. on. As white as snow. It says as white as snow. And his eyes. And it says Christ's eyes. Come on. Where is a flame of fire? Why? Because Christ drank wine in moderation. Remember one of the first miracles Christ performed is he changed the water into wine at the wedding banquet. When you look at this picture right here, does his eyes, is the corners of his eyes red? No! That does not match up, does it? Let's keep reading. Let's get some more. Come on. And his feet. Now it's going into Christ's feet. John the Revelator is seeing Christ's feet. Come on. And his feet like unto fine brass. Now it said, Christ's feet were like unto fine brass. What color is brass, guys? What color is brass? Green? Give me some more. What do, what do you think the color? Who's ever seen a penny? You ever seen a penny? Like a penny. You know, a penny change. Bronze, right? Or brown. Brown is, or, hey, it's brass is the derivative of brown, right? All right. So it said his feet were like unto fine brass, but there's more. Come on. As if, as if they burned in a furnace. John the Revelator said Christ's feet were so black, it looked like he burned in a furnace. That's right. If you take rice and burn it, what color does it come out, guys? Black or brown, right? 
Does this guy's image match with what we just read out of the book of the Lord? No. no. So it means somebody is lying. This is not the true biblical image of Christ. All the prophets from Moses, Abraham, Isaac, Solomon were dark skinned men. They look just like you. But they have changed our history and put their images, it's called iconoclasm, on our Messiah. You guys are the chosen children of Israel. You guys are not African American. How can you be from two continents, Africa, America? You got a question, Phil? You have a guy, sir? Godfather named Moses. You got a godfather named Moses? That's a beautiful thing. What does Moses mean? Uh, it means to be scooped from the water. Remember Moses was scooped from the water the Nile? Remember he was found? All praise to the Most High. So real quick, because there was a comment made. Okay, somebody said, you got multiple wives. Let's see what the Bible says about multiple wives. Who has that? First Timothy. Let me have that. A bishop. Yes. You got that? Come on. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 3, verse 2. Let's see what God says about having promiscuity or polygamy. Let's see what God says. Is that right or is it wrong? Come on. A bishop then must be blameless. It says a teacher must be blameless. The, uh, some of the churches y'all go to, does he carry the title of bishop or pastor? Well, the Bible says a bishop must be blameless. Come on. The husband of one wife. Did it say the husband of two wives or the husband of one wife? So it said the bishop must be blameless and he must be a husband to only one woman. Meaning he's not running around hugging or kissing other women. That's known as adultery. Okay? God says we are not to be adulterous. Read that again. A bishop then must be blameless. Gotta be blameless in this life. The husband of one wife. The husband of one wife, my brothers. Come on. Vigilant. Vigilant for the Lord. Come on. Sober. Sober. Not on drugs. Not an alcoholic. Gee. Come on. Of good behavior. Of good behavior. He's not out here being a hypocrite. That's right. You guys understand that, right? All right. Come on. Given to hospitality. He must be given to hospitality. Come on. Out. To teach and apt to teach. So no, having multiple wives is not correct. So brothers, there's one thing I must teach you all. Give me that in Numbers chapter 15. Do you guys know what these are? From church? Come on, I want you to speak them up. It goes on your shirt. Did you know that's the commandment of God? You didn't know that? Well, let's read it out of the Bible. Because the pastor's supposed to be teaching you guys these things. These are known as fringes. Christ wore fringes. Remember when the woman touched the hem of his garment? He had fringes on. Well, what is the reason for the fringes? Let's find out, okay? Read Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. So it says, speak to the children of Israel. Are you an Israelite? Can we just read about you? Are you an Israelite? Yes. What tribe you come from? Judah. You come from the tribe of Judah. Hey, 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 so I'm speaking to the Israelites right now. Right. So it says, speaking to the Israelites and command them. This is Moses speaking to the Israelites. Whose uncle was named Moses? Was it yours? So this is the same thing. Your Godfather Moses is speaking to the children of God and giving them God's laws up on Mount Sinai, commanding them that they wear fringes. We do Throughout their generation, it says throughout their generations. Do we still have brothers and cousins and sisters? So meaning what? Life still goes on, right? So we're still generating as a people, right? We do And that they put upon the fringe uh -huh. of the borders uh -huh. a ribbon of blue. So it says we are to put a border, a ribbon of blue on top of the fringe. Y'all see that? Read on. And it shall be unto you for a friend, that ye may look upon it, and remember all the commandments of the Lord. So what does the friend just teach you? To keep what? All the what? All the what? All the commandments of the Lord. Hey, that's right. Good job. Y'all brothers are learning. All praise to the Most High.
nation is men leading by example. Nation is family.